Hello, yesterday the UK government announced its roadmap to ending lockdown. But what does this mean for photographers and studio owners? Hello, welcome to In Studio. I'm Ian and Butterfield. And in this video, I want to go through the implications of the UK roadmap for ending lockdown and look at what that means for us as photographers. So yesterday, the government issued its roadmap, this four step plan to bringing the, the country out of lockdown and back to some form of normality. But the question is, how do we interpret that as photographers? What does that mean for us? What can we do? What can't we do in response to these new guidelines and when they come into effect? Well, the first thing to say about uh, the guidelines is that apart from the 8th of March, all the dates given in it are at the earliest. So those dates might slip depending on the data, depending on infection rates and how things are going with hospitals and things like that. And if you ask me, I think they are almost certainly going to slip. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to say, I'm going to look at those dates, but just keep in mind, they may well slip as time goes on. I really hope they can be kept. We've been in this long enough. We, we, we just want to get back to normal now. But we know that, well, this virus and the government have, have thrown so many curveballs at us over the last year that almost certainly something's going to change. But let's see what we can make of it anyway. So as we look through this four-step um, government plan, I'm going to share with you the way I interpret it, how I think um, we should apply these guidelines to our businesses. Now, your views might be different to mine, and that's fine, uh, but your situation might be different to mine, and therefore things will be different on there. But hear me out, and hopefully the logic will help you uh, come up to your own come to your own decisions on there. I'm going to look at how all this applies to Ian's studio, to me. But I am going to explain my thinking behind it. And what you really need to do is to apply your own logic to your own situation, whether you're a studio owner, a professional photographer, or just a, a keen enthusiast who is like the rest of us, just desperate to get back shooting again. So as we go through these four steps, actually it's five steps, but I'll, <laughs> I'll talk about that. Um, I'm going to look at the summary of what they mean. I'm not going to go through every point about that step. I'm just going to look at the headline news for each of the steps and then try and interpret it for what it means for photographers and what it may allow us to do. Step one, Part one, the 8th of March. On the 8th of March, schools will return and there's going to be an easing of restrictions for care homes. Now, for photographers, this really doesn't give us any additional options. We're still in lockdown at this point, uh, so it doesn't open anything up. It's certainly no social shooting at that point. No opportunities for uh, um, just get, get togethers and shoots and things like that. The directive of stay at home is still very much in place at that point. But what is possible? Well, business to business work is still permitted as it has been throughout lockdown. This means that professional photographers and studios can do work directly for other businesses to be able to keep them going. So, for example, uh, I could do product work here um, for a business that needs that kind of work. Uh, I can do um, 
shoots for businesses where they absolutely need that, uh, uh, that photographic service. So that is still permitted. So if you're a professional and you're wondering, can I do something? If it's business to business related, my understanding is that yes, you can. So get on with it. Don't feel guilty about doing it. Now, that also means there is limited uh, business to business studio hires. So if you're a professional photographer and have got a, a client, a business related client that you need to do some work for, whether it's, uh, I don't know, uh, shooting uh, items for a catalogue, then if you need to hire a studio, I believe you're allowed to do that. And my studio is certainly available, so come and talk to me. But if you are just an enthusiast or you're a professional and just wants to shoot for fun, for recreational purposes, then that's not permitted. That's definitely not uh, available under those guidelines. Now, on the 8th of March, one other change happens, and that is you're allowed to meet with one other person outdoors uh, for uh, recreational purposes, they put it, um, which basically means uh, exercise, it means social things outside. So in theory, uh, a one photographer, one model shoot should be permissible outside and should be possible outside. But personally, I think that goes against the stay at home directive. So I'm not going to do anything like that. And I'm not going to encourage anyone to, uh, to do that. I just feel it goes against what, we're, what the government's trying to achieve, what we need to achieve as a, com as a country at, that, at this stage. And besides which, let, let's, be, let's be pragmatic about this. It's March. The weather is likely to be windy. Trying to do a shoot single-handed without an assistant to hold your, uh, your lighting stands or to hold your reflectors is just asking for trouble. Now, wait till the next step when you can actually then have an assistant with you and do the shoot properly, because the next step's not that long after that. Wait till step one, part two. Why did he split part uh, step one into two parts and not just have a five step plan? Uh, anybody? No, I, I don't understand that one either. Step one, part two, 29th of March at the earliest. At this point, outdoor gatherings are subject to the rule of six which means up to six people or two households, if it's larger, can meet together outside. And the all-important stay-at-home directive is, list, is lifted. In other words, we can go out um, for whatever reason we want. We don't have to stay at home. So what does this mean? It means that now outdoor shoots are possible but only up to a maximum of six people. Now, bear in mind that for somebody like myself, if I'm organizing an outdoor shoot, I normally organize it near the studio here so that I've got somewhere I can retire to if the weather turns bad. Well, under this directive, under this stage, we can't come back inside if the heavens decide to open. Uh, we're just going to have to get on with it so on that. So that might, might make these sort of shoots difficult. So here, how am I going to do this? Well, it means I might run a couple of events outdoors uh, after the 29th of March. And because we've got this restriction on the number of people involved, my six would be an instructor, basically me. Uh, I would probably want to have an assistant with me, as I said, somebody to hold the, uh, uh, the reflectors and the light stands. Now, yes, I know I could probably get the participants to do that, but I think at this stage, I'd feel happier having somebody who is there specifically with that. 
a model, obviously, and then up to three paying photographers. So if you think you'd like to be part of one of those shoots, then, and you're near the Stockport area, get in touch. And if I've got three people who want to do this, I will schedule a shoot based around what you're looking for and what you want to get out of it and work with you to find the appropriate model. Step two, 12th of April at the earliest. By this stage, non-essential retail and close contact services can reopen. That means all uh, non-essential shops. It means things like hairdressers, barbers, nail bars, etc. can operate. But social mixing is still not permitted at this stage. So what does this mean? Well, uh, photographic studios that offer, offer things like portrait services, uh, family portraits, etc., can start operating those services again. That's effectively a retail service. So we can start uh, working again, uh, we can start offering our services to non-business clients. We can do family portraits. We can do that kind of work in our studios. It means we can do more limited uh, studio hires. So I would then feel comfortable hiring the studio out uh, to uh, another photographer to do a shoot with certain restrictions. Uh, these can be non-business shoots, but I, we would have to still maintain strict social distancing. And typically this would be one photographer with either one subject, one model or one family is how I would um, interpret the guidelines at this stage. It also means as we are then a, we're retail businesses, I would say one-to-one -one training sessions are also permissible at this point. So that might be uh, a mentored shoot for one photographer plus one model. It might be face-to-face -face training on things like, uh, like Lightroom or any other kind of face-to-face -face training, Photoshop or tabletop training like that. But basically one-to-one -one at that level at this stage. It doesn't mean group shoots and workshops will be available. That won't come till step three, which is in May. Step three, 17th of May at the earliest. At this point, the rule of six for outdoor gatherings is abolished, but the rule of six um, is put in place for indoor gatherings. Now, this is an, an opening up uh, of the, the restrictions a little bit. And the way I would interpret this now is that we can start to offer things like group shoots and workshops in the studio, subject to the rule of six and subject to social distancing. So for here at the Ian's studio, because of the space restrictions I have, that means a typical event at this stage would be, well, well, there'd be the trainer, me, there'd be a model, and I could only take up to three paying photographers. Uh, that's five people rather than six, because my studio is comparatively small. Um, and to be able to maintain the one meter plus social distancing, assuming that's what we are uh, meant to be working with at that stage, I've got no reason to believe it won't be that then I can only have three photographers in here, which means it's not going to be the same sort of shoot as I used to do in 2019, but I will be able to organize events around photographers. And I'll start with the photographers. I'll get three photographers who are interested on similar themes. We'll talk about what sort of model they want, what sort of things they want to learn, and that event will be set up around them. Yes, it will carry a premium price tag because it's tailored. And because, to be honest, I've only got three photographers. So to be able to uh, cover my costs and to pay the model, it's got to have that premium uh, tag to it. But you will get a premium service from it as well. 
Now, studio hires, I think, can also be relaxed just a little bit at this point, uh, where before it would, I would be really only comfortable with one photographer and one subject or one household uh, as a subject. Now, I think we can relax it so long as the rule of six still applies and social distancing is maintained. So if you were a photographer wanting to hire the studio and you wanted to share that with a couple of other photographers, so long as you maintain social distancing, then I don't see a reason why that couldn't happen after the 17th of May or after whenever step three is. The other interesting development on the 17th of May step three uh, phase is that potentially large outdoor shoots should be possible. Up to 30 people can gather outside. Uh, so you could do large group shoots there. But let's think about this. We've got the fickle British weather to contend with. And to be honest, I don't think I would want to uh, be organizing a shoot for 30 people. I might do half a dozen, um, that sort of number, um, plus a model uh, at that stage, entirely possible. I might put something on the calendar for that stage, for that type of shoot. But who knows what the weather's going to give us. Step four, 21st of June at the earliest. It is hoped all legal limits on social distancing can be removed. That's a direct quote from the gov.uk website. So what does that mean? Well, what it means is that social distancing is no longer required. What it means is that events will run as they were prior to the first lockdown. What it means is we have fully reopened. That is what we're all working towards. That's what we all want to see. Will that happen? Will we be able to run events as we had prior to the, uh, the pandemic? Well, it, fa it sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Just four months and it's all over. Except let's be realistic about it. It won't be, will it? They might, res uh, they might, in we still require some form of social distancing. They might still require masks to be wear, worn. We just don't know what it's going to be. We know that things will improve and things will get better. We also know that the roadmap will change. We know from experience that uh, these things don't work out as planned. But at least we've got a roadmap, we've got a plan. And if we have to shift a few dates, then we have to shift a few dates. We are going to get there. We will get there eventually. I want to be positive about this um, and, and be realistic about it. So just hang in there for the time being. Stay positive, stay safe. And please, follow the guidelines. They aren't perfect, we all know that. Um, they're frustrating and they're annoying and all that, but they're probably our best chance of getting an end to this. Uh, vaccines, social distancing, until this virus gets itself down to a level that's manageable. And when it is, I want to really look forward to welcoming you back here to Ian's studio. Or if you're watching this and you're not someone who's ever going to be coming here because you're too far away, then look forward to when you can get shooting again at your chosen location or your chosen style or, or whatever uh, with that. And I hope that happens on the 21st of June for you. So thank you for watching. Now, if I can just ask you a favor at this point, please, if you found this helpful,
please go and hit the subscribe button. Go and do that now so that you'll get any other updates that I post to this channel. Because as I said, this is going to change and I want you to be notified when there's new information uh, being published and I've got new updates here on the channel. Please hit the like button. That's how uh, YouTube knows that this video is worth presenting to people. And it'd be great if you could just stick a comment below. Do you agree with my analysis? If you don't, don't be too hard on me, but do put a comment down below. I'd like, I'd like to know your rationale and understand why your analysis is different to mine. And please share. I think we need as photographers to have this discussion. I hope this video will be a discussion point for people just to get the conversation going about how we get back to normal from this point on. That we don't just all abandon hope or all just rush out there and do stupid things. So share this uh, with other photographers that you know. And until I am able to welcome you back here to the studio, or until I see you in another video, I just want to say thanks for watching, and until next time, keep making great photos. Bye for now.